All right, so let's go ahead and talk about these problems. Okay, so we know we started with uh, 435, and in day one, we took out 139, and then in day two, 190, and we were left with T. So the equation would be 435 minus the 139 plus the 190, if we added those two amounts together, we would get 329. And then we would then subtract that from the 435 and get T. All right. So again, that was the, uh, the first one that talked about how many laps. That was the total amount. And uh, the first one, first group, first day was 139. The second day was 190. And so we had to figure out what was left. All right, the next one, Jeanette got to got a new set of Legos today. <clears throat> it was 45 Legos. Sorry, it has 45 Legos in it. She now has 324 Legos, create an equation to solve for how much she had. So we know that she had, uh, she got a set of 45, which makes that a total of 324, right? Okay, so let's go back and make sure we're doing this right. Yeah, so we, she now has 324. She got a set with 45 in it. We want to know how much she had before today. Well, the way we would solve that was we would take the total, subtract what she got today, and that would have gotten us what she had prior to that. And so we just would subtract 324 minus 45, and that would equal the unknown. So 279 is what our unknown is. All right, so let's go to number three. Number three says, whoops, that's something else, my bad. Uh, Three says students in fifth grade bought seeds to brought seeds uh, seeds to use in their garden. They brought a total of 350 seeds. 120 of them were lettuce seeds. Create an equation and solve for r the number of seeds that were not lettuce seeds. So the total amount of seeds were 350. Uh, the lettuce seeds numbered 120. So we had to know what was the the remainder, right? What, what was not lettuce? So we would have set up an equation as 350 minus 120 equals R, the number of not lettuce seeds. And so we just would do that subtraction, which would be 230. All right. So if we went to number four, the last one, students went on a field trip to an apple orchard and they each collected 32 apples. Uh, so there's 12 students that each collected 32 apples. How uh, right? Create a number sentence solve and solve for a the number of apples that collected by the students that were collected by the students. So here we have 12 sets of 32, 12 sets of 32, and that a group all together would equal a, which is our unknown. So 12 times 32 equals a, and 12 times 32 is 384. All right, there it is. Uh, yeah, go ahead and work on the independent work at this time. Thank you so much.